Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth with World's Cup of Joe, Awaken Your Soul. Remember, if you like our content, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for all new posts that we upload. Today, I wanted to share this quote with you all and apply it to our twin flame journeys because it really is dynamic. Here's the quote and it's by Caroline Miss. When you are working well with your energy, you are also making the best expression of your personal power. We often forget as the positive polarities that we are literally in control of our twin flame connections. It's really easy for the mind to sort of cede all of our power to our person because the thoughts of them are so out of control and we really tend to feel powerless because it feels like they're the ones driving the connection. They get to come in as they choose, then they get to ghost, and it feels like it's all on them. But my loves, we drive this connection. Seriously, we do. I don't want to say that they are puppets, but energetically speaking, they sort of are when we are aligned with soul. And this is where that quote comes in. When we can work well with our own energy, we are making the best use of our personal power. When we can learn to keep our energy in the vibration of soul and out of the vibrations of minds, our twin flames can't stay away. And this can look different depending on everyone's own situation. Don't judge how soul tries to reveal itself. Sometimes it will just be, you know, randomly, they'll show up in some crazy manifestation in order for soul to be near itself. Or your person may actively initiate contact with you. In terms of your own energy work, one way is not better than the other. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. Both ways, whether completely initiated by soul or your person, really are just indicators that you have been harnessing the power of your own energy. The mind wants to judge one way is better, but to soul, they're the same. It is just soul being drawn to itself because you're a vibrational match to it. This journey makes us learn to get out of mind's energies by putting the one thing we want most in our life out of our reach when we are in mind. Let me say that again in a a different way. This journey teaches us that our highest self, our soul, can have the one thing that mind wants the most once we can learn to rid ourselves of the energies of the mind. It's the paradox of this crazy, beautiful journey. If you found this video today, it was meant to be shared with you. You were supposed to hear it. Love you guys and thanks for watching.